This is Bumala Police Station. And like your typical Kenyan police station, there is a steady stream of civilians going in to make complaints. However, what is unique about Bumala Police Station is the station's approach towards gender-based violence and child molestation under the stewardship of Chief Inspector Albert Kipchumba. The inspector has decided he won't sit back and wait for more victims to keep coming to report gender-based crimes. I've talked to my colleagues that any case that is being reported to the police station, the annually, especially cases that touch on gender-based uh, violence, sexual uh, injustices against women or even girls, uh, if they are not able, if they are not free for them, I mean for the uh, male officers to handle, then we have a team of female police officers. Western Kenya is home to the highest number of gender-based violence cases, followed by Nyanza and Nairobi. Despite this, the number of reported cases were curiously low. So when Inspector Kipchumba joined his team here in Busia County, he made a point to have a personal relationship with the community. We are very responsive to their needs. We feel their pain. They should come. We, apart from us being police officers, we are parents. And we will not stand on the way of justice. They should come and report these cases to us. We are going to handle them professionally. We are going to give them maximum attention. Breaking the cycle of fear is one way to fight gender-based violence since it eliminates the fear of being chastised by police officers. Aside from that, he made a point of directly engaging the local community. Together with his team, he enlightens the community on what to do in the event of assault against a child in order to preserve evidence and see the cases through. This place is, is, was known because of uh, side cases of uh, STBVs, but this uh, month, this year, we have only four cases that have been reported. It shows that um, our war against the uh, disco matangas, where uh, these uh, sex pests get time to go into these girls, we, we have narrowed it to almost zero. He has also taken advantage of community policing and the Nyumba Kumi initiative to fish out perpetrators. For example, this angry group we met outside the police station having just apprehended this man supposedly getting intimate with this minor. What Albert has done, he has sensitized the locals and he uses a lot of public relations to, be, to solve many problems. We have a very, very nice OCS, Mr. Kipchumba, who really follows these cases. But when Kipchumba goes, we don't know what will happen. Absolutely, all stakeholders have a role to play. And uh, we put the primary responsibility on the state and its law enforcement agents. And we're very happy to see uh, Chief Inspector Kipchumba in, uh, you know, in Busia also is doing great uh, and um, a role model for other law enforcement agents. Um, so, you know, keeping up. Uh, that kind of uh, awareness in term to the issues and ensuring that uh, the due process happens in terms of uh, you know uh, seeking justice for girls who have been violated is critical. While gender-based violence is a still an issue in many Kenyan communities, Chief Inspector Albert Kipchumba is determined to clean up his community one case at a time. Trix Ingado, KTN News.